and language interpreter is Maresha Wheaty and I am Ashley Missouri. Now, barely a day after the Court of Appeal granted over 1,000 Sirikwa squatters ownership to a 25,000 acre tract of land in Eldoret at the expense of the family of former Kanu nominated Member of Parliament Mark Toe that had also claimed ownership to the parcel of land, another dispute between the two parties is already brewing. This is after the squatters were denied entry to the land earlier today by police officers who claimed that they had not received a court order to effect the squatters' entry into the disputed land. As David Mudoka reports, the squatters who engaged the officers in a near confrontation have vowed to stick to their guns, calling on the Toe family to appeal the appellate court's ruling if disgruntled. Saturday morning at this 25,000 acre tract of land located in Eldoret was in Gishu County. In song and dance, hundreds of Sirikwa squatters who have for more than a decade been forced to seek shelter elsewhere flocked this land that they insist is theirs, prepared to start anew. Their impromptu arrival here coming barely a day after the Court of Appeal in Kisumu granted them ownership to the land that has been at the center of a dispute between them and former Kanu nominated MP Mark Toe's family. Their joy was however short-lived when anti-riot police officers arrived armed to the teeth and prepared to hold them at bay. Our aim here is to protect the property, either it belongs to the plaintiff or the applicant or whoever. Our aim here is to protect property and ensure that there is peace. The squatters confronted the police officers, insisting that they stood on a land that was rightfully theirs. What we don't get is why would the police be involved in a land matter of this age? Why would someone call in police after losing in the courts of law? There are three appeals that were filed in the Court of Appeal. Uh, the three appeals were consolidated, they were heard, and a decision was rendered yesterday dismissing the said three appeals. According to the squatters, the land belonged to their forefathers before they were forced out to pave way for a plantation. Hatuna maneno mingi. We are peaceful. We need to take up our our land and we have already taken from the gate up to everywhere we are okay we are peaceful we have taken over the land insisting that not even the presence of police officers will force them out the squatters have asked the mark to family to appeal the court's ruling if unsatisfied you lose round one you call police you lose round two you call police. Don't we have the rule of law in this country? Why can that litigant move to another court? Prior to the Friday ruling, the Land and Environment Court in Eldoret had given the squatters most of the contested land. A small portion, 66 acres, had been given to the Toe family before the Court of Appeal yesterday ruled that not even that portion was Toe's. In its verdict, that is a major indictment to the former nominated MP in his death, Toe and other people were found to have illegally registered the land to themselves in a grand scheme aimed at taking the land away from the squatters. David Muthoka, KTN News. Now from Eldoret, let's head to the Mount Kenya region where Deputy 